Let's see how to solve this problem. We know x is a real number. x to the power 5 plus x plus 1 equals 0. We need to find the value of x cubed minus x squared. The key idea for solving this problem is to factor the given condition. But we need to play a trick. Let's see. So the given condition can be written as uh, x to the power 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus x plus 1 equals 0. Now we change the first 0 as x to the power 4 minus x to the power 4. The second, x cubed minus x cubed. The third one, x squared minus x squared, and then plus x plus 1 equals 0. Now we group them. Uh, so x to the power 5, I take that, and then I also take x to the power 4. So add x to the power 4, and then add x to the power 3, x to the power 3. And then next group will be negative x to the power 4, so across there, and then minus x cubed, and then minus x squared. The remaining three terms would be x squared, so x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. Now, the greatest common factor for the first three terms is x cubed. We take it out, so we get x cubed, then we get x squared plus x plus 1. For the second three terms, the greatest common factor is negative x squared. So take it out, so negative x squared. So I, we get x squared plus x plus 1. For the last three terms, we just write as 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So you see, x squared plus x plus 1 is a common factor. Take it out, so we get x squared plus x plus 1. And then the first term becomes x cubed. The second term minus x squared. The last term plus 1 equals 0. The first factor is greater than 0. I can explain that to you. So using perfect square formula, so x squared plus x plus 1, I can write as x squared, we view that's a, and then we need to change x to 2ab4. So it'll be 2 times a, which is x. So b should be half in order to make them equal, right? Then we need to add b squared, which is 1 over 2 square, but we need to minus that, okay, minus 1 over 2 square, and then we still have uh, 1 there. So the first return combined to a perfect square, so we get x plus half square. Combine the last two terms, 1 minus a quarter, so it would be plus 3 over 4. We know x is a real number. So this one should be greater than or equal to 0, but this one greater than 0. So the sum should be greater than 0. Anyway, the factor should be non-zero. So then from this condition, we see the second factor must be 0 because this one is not is 0, right? So we get x cubed minus x squared plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 from both sides, so we get x cubed minus x squared equals negative 1. That is the answer we are seeking for, negative 1. All right? So, thank you for watching.